the mayor, uh, she was not able to come. I don't know what is for her, uh, Stephanie's mask. You always need to have two of them, a pair, and um, well, good food, maybe a glass of wine. It is a worry, of course, because uh, no one knows what's going to happen. And we just need to... Uh, keep up doing the good work and, and to uh, inform all the travelers with the information that we are getting. But of course, there's always a worry that are we going to get um, uh, cancellations? And is it going to be very restricted from our source countries? And how is Finland responding? Definitely this uh, winter, this Christmas, is a turning point for many of our tourism businesses. They could not suffer another year, another Christmas, without customers, that's for sure. Actually, we are on our honeymoon. So we got married uh, one month ago, and as we are from Malta, we weren't really looking for something warm, something beachy, we were looking for something cold. <laughs> Actually, to the very last minute. <laughs> Till we boarded the plane. Yeah. <laughs> then once we, the plane took off, we said, okay, we're fine. Yeah. <laughs> We were very sure that we could pull off this trip and then once we get back to France and then maybe we thought all the new restrictions were coming into place and now that it's almost a festive period, probably, you know, you, you have the buffer that you could take a risk yeah. on going and so yeah, th there was no question. Honestly speaking, we, we thought about that but everyone seems to be vaccinated and you gotta hope you're lucky enough just to make it through and, well, to, so far so good. Of course it's a worry. You can't, can't deny that, but this last year and a half, almost two years, has taught us that you can't trust anything. You have to just wait and see what happens. So it's quite, quite stressful. I think this is the last time, last chance for many people, many business, that we are still alive and to keep alive we need this world open. I think the bigger question is from the feeder markets, do they let the people out and come back again? <laughs> so, so that's a bigger thing. So if you're traveling from the UK, for example, and you have a risk on being 10 to 14 days in quarantine and cannot start your job again, I mean, of course you will think twice.
most people thought we were completely crazy that we would even think about opening the restaurant um, in August when the situation was at its worst, one, one could say, and we already knew back then that there would be no tourists whatsoever in this town, and we didn't have any tourists. Um, we didn't even have any, any Finnish tourists to, to come here. So it was, a, it was definitely um, a challenging time. In terms of the whole season, yes, I'm, I'm, I'm worried definitely what, what it will do, and not just with Omicron, but also the, the changes of like people in the UK all of a sudden got new rules for entering the country. There's a lot of discussion about where they would have their tests and everything. So it's just the um, situation is too much changing all the time that people feel that it's not nice to travel. You know, it's not so not stressful any longer. I've never had times like this before. Like I know my colleagues, they are wondering the same. Uh, this is like a puzzle. Every day you start back again and you look at the latest updates and news and you start wondering what's happening with the travelers, what's happening with the tourism workers and the companies. How do we survive? It's been really rough one and a half years. And the most surprising factor is that we don't know when it's really going to end.